Hi gorgeous, happy Valentine's Day. Today I'm showing you how to create this timeless and classic look and I'll also be giving you a couple outfit ideas for inspiration at the end of the video. First thing we want to do is apply a primer because we want it to last, right? Don't do all that hard work for nothing. This is the NARS eyeshadow primer. I'm also applying a moisturizer and sunscreen in one from Paula's Choice. Really been enjoying this one. And by the way, for the eyeshadow in this look, I'm going with the Lorac Pro 1. Yay, old favorite. First shade I'm using from this palette is Nude, and I'm dusting this onto the lid lightly. And then I'm taking a mixture of taupe and mauve, and I'm using these shades to define the crease. But I'm using them more on the outer crease than the inner crease. I'm not bringing it in all the way because I don't want there to be too much definition. I want it to be very subtle and more on the natural side. Then I'm taking Espresso and I'm using it as my eyeliner. I wanted really dramatic, smoky winged eyeliner for this look. I'm using the MAC 263 to create that and I'm only applying it to the outer half of my eye, so not bringing it in all the way to the inner corner. When you do it like this, it does help to open up the eyes and creates more of an elongated shape. And no matter how many times I try, I can never get my winged eyeliner perfect. I just can't. So one of the tricks that I use is I will take a makeup removing wipe and with a tiny amount of pressure, you don't need much, I'll just wipe away the lower edges of the wing to straighten it out. And this creates an effortless looking wing. I also use the Sigma E30 pencil brush and ran it along the edges of the eyeliner so it was more smoky. I also added a brown eyeliner onto the waterline to define the eyes and topped them off with two pairs of Inky Minky Lashes in the style White Lie. Before my face application, I'm applying an eye cream. This is one from Clinique. It is their Pep Start. Just came out in Sephora stores very recently. Blending that underneath the eyes. And I'm also using a green color corrector because I have a lot of redness going on right now. So I'm using one from Graftobian, blending that into the skin. And voila, no more redness. Mm -mm, where did it go? I don't know. Applying my foundation, this is my go-to, you know which one it is, Chanel's Perfection Lumiere in the shade Beige Rose number 12. And then I applied a concealer over the top of that. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I think I'm in the shade Fair Neutral. I think, I'll double check it and I'll have it listed below for you. Blending that under the eyes with a damp beauty blending sponge. For my cheeks, I'm using one of the Clinique Pop, Pe what is it? <sighs> cheek pops in the shade pink pop and applying this lightly onto the cheeks. I am just obsessed with these. I love them. Can't remember the name of them, but I love them. <laughs> I also went in with Wet n Wild's Illuminating Palette in the shade Catwalk Pink and applied a little bit of this onto the tops of the cheeks to give me some dewy highlight. And now that the face is complete and I'm in no danger of rubbing off my mascara, I'm applying one onto the lower lashes. And this is from Chanel. For the lips, I first went in with MAC's Flat Out Fabulous and I used it as a lip liner rather than a solid lipstick because I wanted to create a gradient look for Valentine's Day. For the lighter color, I went with MAC's Cream Cup and used that to fill in the lips and then blend everything together. And then to set everything and keep it in place, I'm using a small sample of Smashbox's Primer Water. And that's the completed look. And if you want to know how I did the hair, I'll have that video going up today too. And for the outfits, I wanted to give you two ideas instead of just one. So we'll start with the casual look. I wanted to go with something that was very light and feminine. I found this sweater from Wild Fox and I just love their clothing. It's so soft. It's like wearing pajamas in public, but you're still dressed. And the white jeans were a find from Seven for All Mankind. For my bag, I went with a burgundy satchel from Kate Spade. It has a shoulder option or you can just carry it by the straps like I have here. And of course, if you wanted to dress things up, you could also go with a lace adorned dress. I found this one from Monique Lahoulier. It is a pink satin dress with a white lace overlay. It has a sweetheart neckline, a corseted shape, which really brings in the waist and the most beautiful detailing on the back. And the pink satin heels that I paired up with both of these looks are from Betsy Johnson. I found these at DSW on clearance for 20 bucks. 
No joke. What a great deal, right? But I still can't decide which is my favorite. Let me know which one is your favorite and what you plan on wearing for Valentine's Day. I hope this gave you some inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. I don't, it doesn't have a little square thing that mine does. Now it's doing that, yes, okay, perfect. <laughs>